for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name's Kelty. I'm a lover of fitness, adventure, travel, and primarily athletic wear, and I love to bring you guys a bunch of reviews, and I am so excited, so excited, so excited. Like, Christmas morning, bah! Okay, Nikki Blackheader is goals. She's so genuine and just so, and we've all watched her, and we, I liked some Gymshark stuff, and when she released that she was doing her own stuff, and the stuff on there was like, what are, lip balm, off the walls, off the chart, fire, wicked, whatever you want to call it, it was just so good, and I was like, I need to get my hands on it right away. And then the pop-up shop two weeks ago, I'm in Halifax, not in New York, not a Ford Fly there. I just reached out on social media, and this just shows the power of social media, and my girl, Melissa, who I didn't know beforehand, didn't, like, I didn't even follow her, I just mentioned, I was like, is anyone gonna be in New York this weekend? She's like, yeah, and I'm totally going to Gymshark. Do you want me to pick up anything for you? And at first I was like, okay, this could be sketchy. Both sides, like, I'm sending her money, she's sending me stuff, but she just seems so genuine. She just seems like a really good person, I'm gonna trust her, and God, so good. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm sorry I'm being like super cheesy, but like I'm really pumped about this. Like, ah! Insert. Oh my god, she's the sweetest person on earth. Look at this. Oh, thank you so much, Melissa. Like, I really hope we get a meet one day in real life. Oh, shoot, I did crack my lens. I dropped this right before, and I think it's just aesthetic, though. Not gonna let it kill my vibes. Let's get to the goods. I'm gonna show you guys a review, try on, and all that kind of stuff, and then eventually like compare it to Lululemon and all those kind of things. But it's just an initial review. I've had it on once, twice actually. I haven't worked out in it, but let's get this part of So I only got two items, and this is just my favorite outfit I saw on her. It is this sports bra. And then this is what I wanted. This is so unique and so gorgeous. And if you guys watched my athletic wear like spring 2017 forecast, this like hits everything. It's got like the above the knee looks. It's kind of got that floral pattern. Blue is in, in. Cool mint. Tiffany blue is always in come springtime because it's such like a pretty color. This, she, they just, they just killed it. I remember I had a giveaway. The winner of my giveaway is Comment down below your email. I will send you, I have a Lorna Jane sports bra, Nike shorts, and the lemon tank top for you. We're hitting 5,000 subscribers and I love y'all. Here is the sports bra. Now, unfortunately, I'm not 100% thrilled with the sports bra, but it's more my own fault, not Gymshark's. Reason being, I got an extra small and insert picture here, boobs everywhere. <laughs> like, I apologize. Like, it actually, I was worried. I was like, there's gonna be like a giant nip slip for sure. It's not gonna support me because it is so small. I got an extra small. I'm 34B. I would have probably gone with a small just for coverage and still support. If I wanted it to be like looser and comfier, I would actually get a medium. These fit quite secure and like you show, they are very, very low cut. I took it outside to see if it gave us nippleitis, and unfortunately when it's cold the nipples show through not very much but yes you can definitely see a bit of nip. It still passed the jump test so kind of like a squat test for leggings. The jump test is my opinion for sports bras like does it hold everything in place and it actually did but I still wouldn't recommend going to size down the reason being it held and it didn't move but I'm literally like one well, just actually like grabbing my top, going like that away from my nips popping up at the gym. So looks good for Instagram and pictures and maybe just like lounging around or like you could layer it underneath something, but I'd be careful just where it is. Reflective. The feeling is very cottony. So if you've ever bought Luan from uh, Lululemon, it's even more cottony than that. And the bottom is really, really structured. It really, it's got some elastic to it, but it's really secure. It's not really bendable. I wouldn't call this like a four-way stretch by any means. It's kind of cottony and just like this. This is the exact shape and it's quite tight fitting. They do have the mesh up here, which will probably help with breathing. What I do like though, is how the design comes around here like so is it does a good job of that, like hooking in. I find that's a big problem with most sports bras is it tends to be like our boobs are really close to popping out or we have this armpit fat that everyone has, not even like fat, it's just like how our boobs and armpits combine. The back is just so cute. I really like that design and I find it supportive and it's a nice mix up from the typical racer back. It's something new, just some extra details because I'm such a fan of details, the little things add up. 
material is 88% polyester, 12% elastine. If you're gonna get this, make sure to only wash with light colors and, and cold wash and hang dry just to keep it. Especially this color is a hard color to keep. Also, I just thought I'd show, cause I love just little details that companies, it just shows like how much effort they put in. And even it's elastic band, the tie, and they even put, if you can see, it says be a visionary, right? Like written on there. And they really stepped up their game for sure with even like the tags. Now, full the pants. Just scratch your pants. Scratch a pants, scratch a pants. So for the logos, they have the Nikki Blackheader, like gold, having your name on something like Queen Bee. And I got these in a small. Honestly, I could have gone an extra small. I usually fit a four in Lululemon, but I preferred to err on the side of caution with something that's patterny. The reason being, if you get something that's pattern based and you get it too tight, it will really warp the pattern. So if you're unsure with something, I always say regular size or size up for sure. And I find it does a great job of still being a bit low rise, but covering the pooch. Like if you have a bit of a food baby or if you're gonna be squatting, bending over a lot, it's still nice that it gives you like a little bit of visibility of abs, but coverage. That's what I really like about it. They have the over the knee look which is really in and they actually have this mesh little pattern in the middle so right there so it actually goes this material is quite silky they have this mesh and then this would be kind of a silky feel like a luxe stream almost that would be the comparison I'd have like of a thin more spandexy luxe stream and not as compression feel from Lululemon just so you have an idea bottoms are a little loose on me but I unfortunately I don't have much leg muscles or big booties it doesn't like flatten the butt though which is great I just think this is an amazing pattern the pants are super comfy some of the gym sharks like I have their so I find they're just kind of like really structured kind of how this is like a little bit stiff and then they have some items like this that are super comfy like the flex pants flex legging or the sculpt uh, sports bra I find are super comfy like I'd want to lounge around in the house in unfortunately this sports bra I would not want to lounge around in it's more aesthetic but I think that comes into play I just needed a bigger size legging pants the pants material is it's 90 percent polyester 10 percent L steam for the main fabric stretch a pants stretch a pants do these pass the squat test and they do not fall down they're not see-through that's great making sure you get the right size if you go too small of course it's going to not pass the squat test because they either dig into you or just the material would be stretched too much after reviewing the footage you'll see the pattern really gets warped with my ring light indoor lighting so you, it's not see-through but it appears to be so i'd be skeptical of that you see you can't see my butt but it looks white versus I took it outside and that doesn't happen as much I have a very dramatic uh, ring light so take that into account I will be filming these in the gym and show you guys a follow-up before it's released so you can really see how they hold up and if they're completely see-through or not people might think it's see-through keep that in mind if you're squatting in a really like artificial light so it's not see-through but people might look and be like oh look at her pants so I would be super skeptical actually about it depending on the lighting Outdoors, it seems to be fine, but yes, I'll do further research in other lighting and keep you guys posted in a follow-up video. So subscribe if you wanna see that. I do find, as you can see, the pattern does get warped when it's stretched. So overall, I am super impressed as you can see it on. I think this is such a cute design. I have no idea when they will be releasing it. If I had to like just take a guess, I would say like May, June, and I'll try and get my hands on it or review more of those for you guys. But overall, I just wanna say, I'm not like a crier. I don't cry very often, but I watched Nikki Blackheader's video like post pop-up shop and she started talking and getting tear eyed and I was in the gym watching it and literally started crying. And I was like, why do I feel this so much emotion? I've never even met her. And it's just like, it's such an aspiration for people like ourselves like what we're capable of yeah, I feel like we so become so attached to youtubers we watch ironic I know that I'm listening to on YouTube but I just thought it was really cool and I just want to say like congratulations Nikki you stuck with Gymshark and you're really loyal to them and you were loyal to your fans and to yourself and you stayed true to yourself for all these years and like worked towards it and I think that is how she got the success she congrats I love the line I don't know how it holds up I will be reviewing these again right before the collection is released and I'll compare them to Lululemon so you have a really good insight site of what they're like and like brands like maybe I'll throw some Nike comparison and also tell you how these stand up so I'm gonna wear these a lot over the next month and see how they hold up if I get the dollar aware so stay tuned I will have that review for you before the collection comes out like I'll release a couple days before the release so hit subscribe if you want to see that because you don't want pants to fall apart. it was reasonably priced I want to say 
I paid, ooh, boom, I'm gonna put there because I don't remember. Uh, it came out to be just a couple more than that because that's American, I bought Canadian. The nice thing is I didn't have to pay duty because Melissa, of course, sent it to me. I just had to pay for shipping and handling. But if you're Canadian or American, no, you will get dinged with paying the duty, unfortunately. Thank you so much for tuning in, my fellow mermaids. It means so much to me. If you're new to this channel, free a feel. If you wanna see more of my word vomit that unfortunately happens quite frequently, hit su 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 subscribe. Okay, embrace my list in slurring the word. Those a like if you guys want more reviews. I got some exciting ones coming up. Oh, one thing. Last thing I just have to ask. I've been doing videos on usually Friday, Sundays, and then the occasional Wednesday. What would you guys prefer? Wednesday, Friday, Sunday uploads, or Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads? Comment down below. Let me know. If any of you got a hold of the Nikki Blackheader collection, let us know your thoughts. Comment down below so we can get some second reviews. What item are you most excited for from the Nikki Blackheader collection? Because there are some gorgeous items. I know, like, the all red. Oh, thank you for tuning in. Like, like always my fellow mermaids, it means so much to me. Have a great day. I love you all. Bye-bye. See you soon.